I'm all about that bump, about that bump. Hey. Hi everyone, welcome back to All About That Bump. So we're in week 16. Ah! We're getting closer to the halfway point. And I am so excited about it. The last time I went to the doctor, they scheduled my anatomy ultrasound, which basically means that's when I'm finding out the gender, and it is going to be on July 30th. Now, I haven't decided whether or not David and I will be present in the room when they tell us the gender or whether they'll write it down and we'll do like a gender reveal party. We're still trying to decide that, so if you guys have any cute creative ideas, be sure to leave them down below. I've been looking on Pinterest, but I really want something that like not everybody else has done. You know, I want something that's really unique and makes sense for us and our family. So after last week's video, I know a lot of you were concerned about me with the morning sickness and the fact that I had to go to the emergency room, but I can tell you all that I have not been sick at all this week. I've been nauseous, but I have not thrown up at all. So I feel like that's progression and maybe it's the Zofran that's helped. I don't know if it's the Zofran or if it's just the fact that I'm like getting closer to like the part of pregnancy where you start to feel normal again. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm definitely keeping on the Zofran every day, twice a day, and um, it seems to be helping. David and I are 100% on our baby name. So we have a boy name picked out, we have a girl name picked out. Our boy name has been picked out since before Eden's name was picked out. It's been years and years. So we're super excited to choose either one of the names. We're just looking forward to finding out what the gender is. This weekend, I'm going on a surprise vacation with David, just the two of us. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm kind of worried about the um, plane trip though. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to respond on an airplane. Hopefully it doesn't make things in my stomach unsettled or something. I'm gonna hope and pray for the best that it'll be a smooth plane ride and I can just sit back and relax. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier without a toddler because I can just like drink Sprite without her like wanting to throw it all over the plane. Every now and then I feel like a little bit of movement but it's nothing that's like, oh my gosh, the baby's moving. It's really just like a little like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like an itchy feeling on your bladder. I guess you can say it's kind of like tingly. It's very rare though. I haven't felt the baby move much at all. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. I have gained 0.8 of a pound. So that's good news too, I guess. I guess that means I'm able to keep food down now and now I'm going to be gaining weight like I should, but I'm not gonna be gaining a lot. I'm gonna be definitely be watching what I'm eating, how often I'm eating it, etc. Um, I've started to do some light exercises, some awesome DVDs. I'll have to do like a separate video on it, um, just what I use to work out. I'll have to do a separate thing on that. I started to notice that I can't wear like pants the way that I used to be able to. They're all fitting a little too snug. So I'm like, it's time to get maternity clothes. I think that's about it for today's update. I can't think of anything else to really talk about, so I will show you the belly. All right, so here's the belly this week. I don't know if I really see a difference from last week, but somebody told me to do a side-by-side -side comparison, so here's my side-by-side. -side. You guys can tell me what you think, if you see a difference or not. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and tune in next week for 17 weeks. Bye, guys.